All right, welcome back everyone to our video series. My name is Steve, clinical educator at Town & Country Compounding. Got John Hur here, one of the owners of Town & Country Compounding. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your time. Thanks, Steve. Glad to be here with you. Awesome. So we're going to talk about Ectoseal today, which is a transformative wound care solution that we have here, and it addresses the complexities of healing pressure ulcers and other challenging wounds. First question, what makes healing wounds particularly challenging in elderly and uh, immobile patients? Well, many of these patients just have poor circulation, which just could have to do with age or different disease states that they have, high blood pressure, uh, possibly cardiovascular disease. So a lot of that has to do with uh, poor circulation and they're very sedentary. So they're lying in bed at many times for a good portion of the day. They're either in bed or maybe they're in a wheelchair and then you just get that pressure, which right. that pressure can cause a lot of the wounds. Right. and. How does our new formulation address these specific wound healing challenges? Well, we have this new formulation called Ectoseal. And the nice thing about Ectoseal, it's a hydrogel. So it goes into the wound and it coats the wound and it can be used for many different drugs. One of the nice things about Ectoseal is that it's also easy to remove. Right. So it can be rehydrated with saline mm -hmm. and then it makes it easier for the, you know, the nurse or whoever it is in the, uh, in the facility to actually remove or debride that, um, that wound so they can reapply new medication. Yeah, because it could be a little painful to remove these uh, products uh, without this option. Typically in a long-term care facility before this, you would most often have to dose the patient with the narcotic. Yeah. I mean, it's not unusual to have to give somebody a dose of morphine. Now, still, if it's a very painful wound, as they can be, we're saying you can still dose with medication like a narcotic or something else to help with the pain during the debridement, but this makes it much faster because the nurse in the facility can just rehydrate that ectoseal yeah. and then actually kind of help clean the wound out and then reapply. Got it. And let's elaborate a little bit more on the versatility of ectoseal and how it benefits patients with different wound conditions. Because there's a range of these wound conditions. They'd run cultures and find out what bacteria is in there. What's the versatility of ectoseal and how, what's the benefit of that? One of the nice things also about ectoseal is that it can be applied as a gel directly to the wound, which as we discussed, that could be washed off. Another good property is it actually can be applied as a powder. So we have these little powder puffers and we can put the ingredients that we're using into the ectoseal powder. And if it's a very wet, weepy wound, which we often see, yeah. you can actually spray that powder or puff it right into the wound and it kind of hydrates. Right. And thereby it, it's, it's sticking and forming the gel right on the wound, uh, allowing a much ease of application. And for instance, if the doctor's office is running a bacterial culture, because we're a compounding pharmacy, there's a lot of range of what we can do right? In terms of what we put into the ectogel, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, often the doctor or the facility can send us the culture and sensitivity, and then we can find out what um, bacteria might be in that wound, and then we'll know which drugs we can incorporate into the ectoseal. So the nice thing is that being a dry powder, we can then take that active pharmaceutical ingredient, that antibiotic, incorporate it into there, and then they can apply it into the wound. Got it. I mean, also, you know, uh, typically with wound care, we use things like phenytoin, uh, pentoxifiline, as you mentioned, Steve, wounds can be painful. So we could put, you know, an anesthetic in there, like lidocaine, for example. Uh, now, Trexone has been shown to help uh, close wounds. And, you know, oftentimes, like I, li I did a lot of work with hospice in the past, we'll use metronidazole. It's actually interesting that you mentioned naltrexone because we do so much of that in the form of low dose naltrexone. It's crazy how this product can be used for so many different things. Uh, and now with wound healing. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, now Trexone has been a, a, an old drug, but we're finding all these new usage for it. And uh, we do that with a lot of drugs, but Trexone is very promising and helping actually to close a wound. And that's where now Trexone is working. Right. Like, like we mentioned, when I mentioned I do some hospice work, there a lot of times wounds become very malodorous. So it'd be very even tough for the family coming in to visit their loved one in yeah. a facility, somebody on hospice, and they smell that odor of the wound. Metronidazole has been really, really effective in reducing the odor in the wound. Sometimes it's just that's all we want to do in these patients because they're te that terminally ill. Yeah. But it could be a person in a long-term care facility where they're trying to treat the wound, but you still want to put the metronidazole in there. So we offer a lot of options here at Town & Country. Yeah, I remember from rotation, pseudomonas. Oh my God, that could wreak havoc, uh, pun intended. So f finally, how does Town & Country Compounding ensure healthcare professionals can effectively prescribe these new wound care formulas? Well, the best thing is to call us here at 201-447-2020 uh, 
or email us at pharmacist.tccompound.com. All the pharmacists here are trained and versed in this and are always available to help consult practitioners, uh, facilities with addressing the need that they have for those particular patients. Yeah. We can incorporate, like I mentioned, different drugs into the uh, ectoseal powder, which can be applied to the wound either as the hydrogel already or it can be applied to the wound as the dry powder. But again, here at Town & Country, we're always available to help consult on specific therapies that help that specific individual patient. And now we have the portal where you could have this templates for a wound healing where a doctor can have their favorite wound healing templates, have their favorite ectoseal, sure. right? The portals have been great because that way, uh, as a practitioner, you know exactly what you're prescribing for that patient and what they've received. Yep. So it's easy then to go back to see what you prescribed in the past. Did it not work? Would you like it to be a little more effective? They can tweak it. And as you mentioned, we can like preload in the formulas that are their so-called favorites. Right. But even within the portal, they can go in and free type. Which will they'll have to happen because of the culture, right. the bacterial cultures. Exactly. Once they yeah. know like what the uh, yeah. weed is sensitive to, and then maybe they want to put the metronidazole in there because there's the odor. Or the patient's having a lot of pain, so maybe they want to add a little lidocaine into the formulation. It gives a lot of uh, variability for the prescriber to you know, be able to get a prescription for that independent patient. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for listening to this about ectoseal, which really is helping a lot of patients. Uh, and it's really it can be really painful and tough to treat wounds. Thank you so much.